Another thing that you should really take into consideration when you're looking to when you're looking to recall is the HP of you compared to the HP of the enemy. Because as you can see right here, you have more HP than Jing. So she can recall first, not us. We want to stay and punish her. I mean, of course, I'm not saying if you have 1100 gold, don't go recall. I mean, you go recall because you if you have the power spike and you, you don't know that you can kill her reliably. Like, for example, if she's very, very low and we have the power spike, we should stay. If she's healthy and we have the power spike, we shouldn't stay. But if she's yeah. unhealthy and we don't have the power spike and we have more HP than her, then we should What's stay. Going What's going on, guys? Besides getting into today's video, we're going to learn about lane phase, trading patterns, matchups, positioning, and a lot more we're going to learn in this particular video this is a video this is a coaching session actually with someone from a low rank from gold she was in platinum so if you're below master tier these fundamentals right here are going to help you tremendously if you're above master tier this video is not for you don't watch this please but if you're below master tier you should watch this because there are many things that as an ADK you must know and if you want to improve on ADK please make sure you like subscribe and hit that notification bell to not miss out any bit of content from this no. channel or ghosting now or ghosting now ghosted, then i wouldn't have to waste flash later on true but at the same time if you ghost right here and she flashes mm -hmm. then she escapes but if you chase and you don't ghost and she flashes you don't waste ghost how do you know that is ghost is good here so how do you know that this fight is gonna last for a long time because here you don't know she can just flash out before the master eq hits same thing right here, she can just flash out. So I wouldn't ghost now. Now you should ghost. Exactly at this point. But why Why is that? Because Jinx got CC'd. Exactly. So now you've got the insurance that this fight is going to go for a long time. And if she flashes and you ghost now, you're going to be here and you can just kill her after she flashed. So the ghost has to be used very preemptively, but not too preemptively. Not when you don't know that the fight is going to last for minimum three to four more seconds. So here you shouldn't ghost at any given time. The moment you should see mastery here, you should think about ghosting. And the moment this guy hits the, the root on the jinx, immediately ghost. Because right here you would get her like very, very easy. And you would also get the kill, of course. We should have also looked to last hit the kill there. Because obviously on Kogmo Twitch Jinx, we're talking about the kill on these champs. And yeah, you should be very careful when you're using the flash. And um, it depends. Because sometimes the flash is not so important. On Kogmo, it is. In general, it is. Now you flashed for a kill, so I agree it's good. Uh, theoretically speaking. Wait, it was eight days ago. <laughs> okay, this one. Yeah, so in this case, we're talking about us using Flash on Kogmo against Trash, not so good. Against Jinx, mm, she has some CC, not so good. Graves, mm, Graves is not so big of a deal, but the fact that they have Trash Graves is kind of annoying. If you waste your Flash against Trash Wukong here, that's also not good. It's also not good. If you waste your Flash against Lax Gramos, that's not good. If you waste your flash against uh, Maokai and Fiddlesticks, that's not good because again, they can catch you. They can, uh, they can just kill you. There are some cases where you wasting your flash is not as bad as it could be if you don't use your flash. So for example here, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Draft. In this case, they have a trash and they have a graves. They can punish you by using the flash. So I would think twice if you should flash in. But if, if they have, let's say, a support that doesn't really have so much CC, like Lulu, and their jungle is someone like Hecarim, like very, you know, full clear, let me play safe, or uh, Lilia, full clear, let me play safe, or even Kane, full clear, or even Shivana, then using your flash on champions like Twitch, on champions like Jinx, on champions like Kogmo is not as bad as it, it looks. But why? Okay. Why, why it makes it different? Um, because they don't really have a reliable way of killing you true like they don't have true to true so the thinking of oh i waste my flesh it's always bad on kogmo no it depends on who do we play against can they punish us so in this case i mean i wouldn't say it's a bad flesh because you gotta kill but be careful when you're doing this against a trash grace because he's gonna level two gank you and we're gonna cry later on so that's the only disadvantage okay you stay with them you hover them hover them from behind you do a few auto attacks very appreciable here that you don't use w of course, we will need it for the lane. Then you try to go from behind and you try to go. Did you think about Trash being here or you just took the risk? 
Uh, I took the risk. You took the risk. Okay. Did you think that like when you did this, like were you aware that he's in the brush? Mm -hmm. You thought he's not here, right? Yeah. In these cases, I wouldn't really take the risk because if you go right here into like there's this wave and there's this wave coming. So if he hooks you right here, if he hooks you right here, you're gonna be in trouble. So I wouldn't personally take this kind of risk. You did amazing here with the with the dodge, and you try to go to switch up the target on the on the trash, which is very nice. Which is very nice. The problem is that right here, when you go in, you should also ghost. You should also ghost. Like right here, I wouldn't ghost because we don't know what's going on. Like right here, I wouldn't ghost. I wouldn't ghost. Okay. Now, when you go on the trash, out ghost because he missed this hook, and we know that we win so hard, and we know that this fight is gonna last for a long time because you want this fight to last for a long time because okay. he has no hook. So right here, exactly after he misses the hook, just ghost instantly. Okay. Holy shit, Kogmo is so unbalanced. Are you an AD carry main struggling to make an impact in your games? Is your damage output disappointingly low, leaving you feeling frustrated and powerless in the role you love? Introducing our specialized coaching program designed to supercharge your AD carry performance. Imagine a world where your damage, decision making and farming skills are 10 times better and the outcome of your games is no longer left to chance. Meet Chase, just like you, he was once stuck in the same position, facing low damage and inconsistency in his games. Let's see what happened after his coaching experience. From Diamond 4 to Master Tier. Wow! And here is Jordan and Brett. Both transform into formidable AD carry after the coaching session. These success stories aren't just isolated cases, they are a part of a community of over 3,243 players who benefited from the coaching program. If it worked for them, why not for you? Picture yourself as an unstoppable AD carry. It's not a dream, it's your potential with the coaching session. Don't wait any longer, visit Visite.com, book your coaching and become the AD carry the enemy team hates to play against does so much damage and then right here you're looking to slow push you oh. did slow push that's fine i mean you're gonna crush it anyways the problem is this right that you need to crush it here so when you wanna because right now you're probably thinking that i killed them let me just push the thing is that's true the thing is if you're gonna start pushing right now you really need to pay attention where is the next incoming minion wave and where is the next incoming minion wave where is it right now uh, it's at the second tower right now perfect how do you know that looking at our wave uh, perfect so right now uh, what do you think are the chances of you crushing this wave before this this wave gets here pretty low true if you know you can crush this before like the next wave comes here you can crush right now but in general if you're not sure you can look to slow push this one and then when you have a big wave here you can fast push because the advantage okay. is that you're going to have a huge wave and you can crush it when you're, when you're here or you can push right now but the wave is going to freeze here and then you have to stay here to to crush which is a lot more aggressive so be careful with that mm -hmm. okay good 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 plus you also need to consider your goal you have 235 goals so realistically push and recall is not very <laughs> okay we're gonna buy a potion a pink word sure but it's not <laughs> yeah. really too good so you push and then after this you can word you can go well now you just have to push you have mastery into the enemy jungle so you're safe in general, I would look to word before pushing this wave because it's the time, it's before the third wave you might get ganked. Either before the third wave is here or after it's crushed. But since you have mastery there, we shouldn't be worried about that. You should push this and then after you push this, you have multiple options. What options you have here? One would be, for example, recall. What else would it be an option? Good ward, but I don't have a ward. Maybe True. Renata has a ward. True. Okay, so we can word or like look to word. Okay. It would be nice to work because you have a big wave and so you can easily go for a word if you really want to uh if you really want to stay in the lane because if you want to recall then of course you don't, don't work now because you just waste the duration okay got it got it got it got it okay so first is recall second is word third would be like cheese here even though they have a war so maybe in the second brush go towards the river or uh, like doing something like this in this specific situation how does so wording you can't do it by yourself so you could just tell renata but if you want a word you should stay in the lane or so you can stay in the lane and in the, in that case you can look to word or you can just recall give me a little bit more advantage of the recall like why would we recall here why would we recall mm -hmm. um get our health back to buy a little bit of an advantage true true the advantage is nice i mean you have more gold you also have a good wave to recall on like this is gonna go in the tower if she wants to make you lose she has to push the next wave that is right here 
just to push that wave and then uh, crash it in the tower so you have lots of time since you just crash this first initial wave um good 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 how much gold do you have 450 it's not really the best though it's not yeah. really the best it's just 450 and uh, i mean another thing that you should really take into consideration when you're looking to when you're looking to recall is the hp of you compared to the hp of the enemy because as you can see right here you have more hp than jing so she can recall first not us we want to stay and punish her i mean of course i'm not saying if you have 1100 gold don't go recall i mean you go recall because you if you have the power spike and you you don't know that you can kill her reliably like for example if she's very very low and we have the power spike we should stay if she's healthy and we have the power spike we shouldn't stay but if she's unhealthy and we don't have the power spike and we have more hp than her then we should stay here you should be thinking one how much gold do i have how much gold do i need and 400 gold is pretty bad like minimum 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 is 700 for the recurve bow and 750 for recurve bow potion and um, actually if i think about it boots dagger is probably the best on kogmo because you also need the uh, it's like on Kalista or vein you also need the movement speed yeah so 650 is the, the absolute best on this champion so in terms of gold, you don't have enough X. In terms of the wave, you have a good wave. It's crushing the tower, so you have a like nice thing. And then in terms of the HP of the Jinx, like any made carry, she needs the recall more than you, so you shouldn't recall. In general, the gold is the most important, but the wave also can take place and the AD carry's HP can also take place here. Um, so for example, if you have the gold in another situation, but any made carry is very low, you should stay to pressure her. But yeah, in this specific case, uh, what should we do here? Yes, we should stay and look to pressure her. We should just stay because right now you're recalling. But again, realistically speaking, she has nine farm. She's quite low. You know, you're not like a lot healthier, but you are healthy compared to her. So you should really look to stay, especially because you don't have a huge amount of gold. And right now, also what you're buying is bad. You're going long sword. I mean, yes, I know. I told you and Zaya to buy that, but we're playing a different champion, Kalista, Caitlyn. Kogmo, they love boots. Movement speed is very, very nice for them. And then if you don't get boots, then you should get the dagger. Like boots dagger is like the best, the best, the best, the best, the best. The boots are like very, very important. You're going to see a lot of players uh, uh, doing that. Let me see if I can give you some examples. Yeah, as I said, recurve bow, very good. He didn't have money for the boots. Let me see if I can find more. Okay, this case, okay, in this case, he probably played with, yeah, he played with the medio. He can play super aggressive. So in this specific case, he can also go for more AD. That's like a, an exception. This one, he went longsword. Okay, now he has a lot of gold. He buy Vampire Scepter. Vampire Scepter, double longsword. Yeah, I think the best is recurve bow and uh, berserker boots. And if you don't have money, then boots and dagger is like the best. And, uh, yeah, we can see also a lot of uh, berserker boots and then the curvo. Yeah, this is like the special combo. Yeah, exactly. Look. Okay. This is like really, really good. Okay, he's playing with tier. We're not talking about that. Yeah, look okay. at this. <laughs> going for uh, dagger is very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do right now. Walking up beautifully. You actually walked up into the trash here. You traded with him. You do didn't reuse really your potion as you are fighting. No problem. No problem. Jinx just died here. So let's see what we're gonna do after jinx dies on a theoretical level we could push or we could slow push so depending on what you want to do okay so what should should we be doing at this point in time we can slow push we can fast push slow push true why because you probably can't shove it fast in time true 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 how do you know because it's a cannon wave true 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 so now you can't really crush it in time so realistically speaking, you should look to slow push. If you know you can crush it in time, you can consider fast pushing. What other um, variable you should consider or you should think about when looking to ask yourself, do I push fast or do I just slow push? Dragon or if I have an item. True, true. Very important. Drake is important, but more important is really if you have an item. So in this specific situation, what do you think? If you fast push, a cannon wave is 150 gold, 250 plus 150, how good is this? Not very good. Not very good, so it makes the decision a lot easier to, to be taken here. Like, okay, I'm gonna, well, first of all, I can't push it in time, so I shouldn't push, no. Second of yeah. all, I don't even have the gold, so no. <laughs> oh, no, no, I shouldn't really push. 
okay. I mean, then third would be, okay, is the, the mastery like one HP at the Drake crying that he needs help? And then if it's, if it's a yes and he's there, he's starting it. Not if he's pinging, but if he's starting, if he just started it or if he's there, if he just hit it. If it would be that case, then you can consider pushing it fast. But in this specific case, not really. Not really. We shouldn't really look to push her. So that's uh, in this specific situation. This is all of these things we need to like think about them. Because right now you want to recall, you have half HP, but like, as you can see here, 400 gold is a bit iffy. And then you could stay. The thing is, if you stay right now, there is not really much you can take. You can't get the plate. And if you stay in the lane with this HP and Jinx has a lot more HP than you and she was base, that's also going to be bad. So the fact that you push that wave now, you're actually forced to recall. And you're getting the dagger, which is a nice thing to do. As you're a Kogmo, so you need dagger. Then wave is coming into you, you should be freezing here, you should be keeping it into you. You actually try to walk up very aggressively, very nice trading. Very, very nice trading. I guess Zaya helped you so much to understand the trades. Sec pretty good. Very nice trading, very nice mechanics as well. I'm just gonna write it down here. Trading very good. Okay. Very good. So this is like high plot. Movement plus mechanics in lane with spacing, kiting, clicking, high plot. Wave management, silver one. <laughs> okay. So we've got that one. Okay. Good. So we know what we need to start with. It's like the wave management and the recall timings. We really need to pay more attention to how much gold we have and to, yeah. hey, are we actually able to push this wave in time? Because if the answer is no, we shouldn't really be trying to crush. But yeah, definitely looking at your gold is super important. Buying more attack speed item and boots uh, and thinking about how much gold you need is super important. All in all, your trading in lane phase is good. So I would give you an eight for this lane phase. Just because your mechanics and trading were very good and the wave management was not so good. Then right now, then Anata unfortunately died. You could have tanked the W of the Jinx, but then she would have died as well. Yeah. I mean, you might die as well, so it's actually better to just recall. No problem. Let's see what you're going to do after. So you are pretty low into the tower and you recall. Okay, if you're Jinx and you know that the Kogmo recalled, what are you going to do? of it true 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 how do you feel about that not very happy not very happy you could also say that oh but it's a cannon wave which is good like she can't push it as fast as a non-cannon wave the problem here is like if she pushes you're not really killable i mean okay if i understand if you're like this hp and you just recall i will be like i mean sure she's scared i mean she doesn't want to die i mean i get it right it's she needs to recall but right now, you don't need to recall. Like, I have 600 HP almost. Right now, the, so first of all, why would you would recall here, even though you know she will push it relatively fast. Not fast because it's a cannon, but relatively fast because it's Jinx trash. He can just flay the minions and then Jinx can kill. The only reason why you would not rec you would recall here is if you have like 200 HP or if you're super diveable, like 200, 150, 300 HP. Or okay. second of all, if you have a huge power spike in base, like Kraken Slayer, or, well, you don't buy Kraken Slayer, like Bork or Gwinsus or whatever, that's a good recall. If you have like 2000 gold or you can be like, oh, I know I'm going to lose this minion if she pushes, but I have a huge amount of gold. I recall, I get a huge item, I come back in the lane and I win 2v4. If that's how you're thinking and that's why you're recalling here and you have 2000 gold, that would be good. If you're recalling because you have 1 HP and you're scared of dying in the tower, this recall would be good. Is this good in this specific situation? I mean, 900 gold, you could argue you could get boots, but it's not such a huge power spike, really. There's like a problem that we have right here is like pushing the lead. You're getting small leads in the lane phase, but you're never pushing them. You're never getting one more wave. You're never, never trying to push the wave before recalling. And this Jinx has 56 farm and we have 37. And I honestly think you played better than her in the lane phase, but it didn't matter because the recalls that she had, um, they were better. And then now you push because it's a non-cannon wave. Okay, 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 okay. Mastery is top, so you shouldn't really play super aggressive. 
we do not have a ward on the reaver so this is a pretty bad that you're actually playing aggressive here your master is top play so you have to play very safe okay very nice same thing with the ghost the yeah. moment like here you should just ghost the moment you see that renata got hooked and you hit your e on the on the jinx you should just ghost you should ghost immediately when you know that the fight is gonna last for a long period of time minimum for five seconds and you know that like right now you can consider ghosting but right now you out ghost because not only that he hooked but did you see that he just he just jumped towards him he just took he just he just took the hook that's when i would ghost and especially because you also hit your e on the jinx so you yeah. mean like ghost, go, ghost, go, 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 go. of course potion before you know potion yeah. is also like important keep forgetting and then here i think he's just dead here okay that's very nice flesh you're gonna die here yeah, because if we play that with the ghost clean, you get double, and I don't think you die here. I don't think you die here, yeah. Overall played pretty okay. A ghost usage and wave management and just pushing the lead, like definitely in the early game is uh, losing your games here. Okay, let's see this fight. Let me actually just put so. The real problem is that we are taking good trades in lane. We have better mechanics than the enemy ad carry but we are never trying to push the lead push one more minion wave or stay a little longer for extra advantages we just play for 100 safe place sometimes you can play for 80 percent safe place 90 percent safe place but if you eight seventy percent safe place but the problem is that right now you're only taking 95 percent uh, safe place or 100 percent safe place so you <laughs> don't have this moments when you're taking 80 percent safe play and you're getting one more wave or 70 okay. percent safe play and you're taking again one more wave and if you do like three to four decisions like this you're mm -hmm. very rarely gonna die but the amount of goal that you're gonna get is like huge so you should be looking to extend your leads we're gonna do it in the okay. in the loading in the the live uh, session so okay. that's uh it's pretty big okay let's see what's gonna happen here so you move but obviously we need to see what is happening on bot lane because if she pushes with jinx okay so definitely you move here but you also have to pay attention to the bot wave how fast they push you move right here and then graves is so the, the what you're trying to do right here is not really take the buff or like kill him it's just get him out of the buff so like right now you should just go on the bot lane immediately okay, okay. like i shouldn't really keep chasing him because one the master is probably gonna go on the mid lane to kill that guy two trash can just maybe flash hook or lantern him three you might just lose the minions and the minions are like a hundred percent play so they're very guaranteed yeah. Of course, if Mastery was behind him and you know you get a kill for sure, then I don't mind you losing three to four minions on bot. But you took this plant exactly when you knew one, there is no reliable uh, way you kill Graves. Two, there is a reliable way you just lose the minions on bot lane. So okay. it's like super flip, super, super yeah. flip here. You stayed a bit too much. And I wouldn't take this word. I would just go straight to bot lane because now you just miss the cannon because of that. Yeah. So you should just it's it's very counterproductive oh should i not take the word like well in general you should take the word but in this case you should pay attention to the map and if uh, if the minions yeah. are dying you take the wave and then you go back to the word afterwards when there is no wave that you're losing it also i think you can kill jinx if you were the lantern oh yeah if you just click here or the lantern because you auto attack well you shouldn't really auto attack because if you were the lantern she can't take the lantern she has to kill the word first then yeah yeah didn't think of that no worries no worries no worries and now we're actually gonna play in the lane i hope you're not gonna recall here because you have this tendency to like recall very nice very very nice let's see how you play this though so i want to see your r though so right now you're walking up this is good this is good 
He missed the hook. He should walk up. Nice, nice, nice. Personally, I would, I would uh, ulti the the trash, not the Q, the, the Jinx. Because, like, what makes you go on the trash in this case? Like, why would I say that you should go on trash here? Because he missed all the abilities. True, 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 true. And he's lower. He's lower, yeah. I mean, of course, theoretically, if they are both low HP and they have the same position, you should go on the AD carry. But if one is more forward and one is more back forward, you should go on the first target. Or if one is lower and than the other, then you should go on the target that is lower. So when it comes to who do I focus in a fight, you take in consideration one, positioning of the players. Closer target is always usually better instead of going the, on the back line, unless you know you can kill the back line in a very easy way. Second of all, HP difference, the chunk, the, the one that is, ch is more chunked is usually the target that you should be looking to go for. Um, and then three is of course just what abilities does do they have and if if they have the same positioning and the same HP and you can choose of course you would go on AD carry but that's very very rarely this is gonna happen like you being able to choose yeah okay let's see what's gonna, gonna do here and then, <laughs> yeah because I think you can actually kill them a long time before uh, okay. If we get a kill, oh, we should also queue here. I think we should auto queue, like auto queue here. Okay. I wouldn't ult because it's just you can get two auto attacks. Okay. Zero ulting. And then now you move towards mid lane, but wait a second, we go bot lane. Okay, so bot lane is very pushed in, so you move towards mid lane, then I hope you're gonna go back to bot lane. So you move mid, you take the wave. And then, what do you do? Then you just go towards the bot lane, towards the drake. Then you're gonna lose the wave on the bot lane, so you just move on the bot lane. You go take the safe way here, always nice. Then you go for the drake. You E. The, this is the first ghost that is like nice. Okay. Okay, let's see. Did you use a W to actually get the minions? Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Not so good here. Not so good here. Good, good, good. Nice kiting. Missed some clicks. Then we get this. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Potion. That's good. And then in this case, you recall it. Okay, you take it the word. Not so good because you're just wasting time. You have the, like, right now, you should be thinking about the wave bot lane. Okay. You shouldn't really be thinking about getting the word because there are multiple options. Recall and let the wave to come into you. Um, stay here and freeze. Stay here and push. Those are like the options. Which one do you think is best? Um. Uh, I mean, probably recall immediately was better. Um just because of the gold, but... True. Uh, should, True. I should I have just stayed in lane? Should you have I stayed in lane where you, when you have your uh, your gold, enough gold for your item? No. Exactly. Well, unless the wave is in a very shit position and you want to fix it, no, no, you shouldn't really stay. So is the wave in a very shitty is like position right now to, to justify you staying here? Let's see. I don't think so. How is this wave right now? Is it just frozen there? Okay, but what is going to happen with it? What? Uh, uh. So we have one, two, three, four, five minions against one, two, three, four, five minions. It'll push into us. True, how do you know? More, because there's more red minions than blue. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, 
there's one about to die. <laughs> this one, yeah. Or this one, you mean? Huh? Uh, no, I meant the blue one. You, you but, mean um, the blue one? The yeah, okay. So, the wave is pushing into you. There is no reason to stay. Only, only you can stay here only if you have to fix the wave. Like, if you really have to fix the wave, then you can just stay there to... Five dollars! If you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster, but you cannot afford booking coaching on my Patreon, you can access more than 627 VOD reviews, premium videos about how to wave management, mid-game macro, and tire lists that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your ELO. And these are not on YouTube, this is only on Patreon, they're exclusive. Moreover, you can participate in the free coaching waiting list to get a premium VOD review. I'm giving away two free VOD reviews every single week all what you need to do is simple two-step process subscribe to my patreon and share your opgg and voila you are on the waiting list you're gonna get a personalized vote review for any game in your match history for just five dollars you get not only the free vote review but a whole bunch of exclusive benefits that will supercharge your gaming experience it's a small investment for a big return and it's just $5, it's no brain, right? But here is the deal, you've got to act quickly. The waiting list is already filling up fast. 55 people already subscribed to the Patreon and there are 6 people that they already are on board, they are on the waiting list. And more are joining every moment. Now, do you want to secure your spot for a free VOD review? Go ahead on my Patreon and reserve it right now.